Welcome to Heroes 2, the making of the game. My name is Vanessa Pizzuto, and today we are talking to Jefferson Nascimento about what happens behind the scenes, how we make a game like Heroes 2. Welcome, Jeff. It's a privilege to have you with us today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vanessa. So, Jeff, I know you. You are my friend and kind of my boss as well. But do <laughs> for the rest of <laughs> for the rest of us, do tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Well, um, my name is Jeff. I'm from Brazil originally, but I have lived in Dublin. I have lived in UK when I met you, and right now I'm living in Portugal. Uh, I have graduation in um, social communication, now doing a master's in design communication. All right, so a media person, very good. Tell me, how did you get involved with Heroes? How did you meet Sam? How did he invite you into this project? Well, actually, that's a, a nice story. Um, I met Sam a couple of years ago when I was in Ireland. So the Brazilian community there, we organized a camp and uh, Sen was the, the preacher, he was the speaker invited to talk to us over that weekend and uh, I, I was very touched for the, the, the message he was sharing and I went to talk to him on Saturday night and then uh, I, I asked, the conversation went well and he was like, what about you, what do you do? I said like, well, I work with uh, advertising and social media, he was like, I need someone like that to work with me in a project. What do you think to to move to London with me? Like, are you serious? So like, yes, yes. And so so I did. I moved to to Watford, uh, to be more precise, um, to work with Sun in a project. But when I arrived there, Sun was invited to go to to America to the general conference. So the project it didn't happen. But I, we still have like some time to work together for about three four months. We developed a, a good friendship. I really learned a lot with Sam. And that's when I started to talk about Heroes 2 because he, he had a red release, Heroes 1 at that time. Uh, was already a great success, a lot of people talking about. And then we start to work on Heroes 2. Um, but I really think that the moment that uh, I, I kind of got in my past to join the project was when he looked at me and like, what do you think about my game? Oh, what like, did you say? It was like, you know, I, I like it. It's unique. It's the first one. It's like, it's amazing that you come up with this project, but I, I, I have some improvements if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> so what were your so, suggestions? So um, I don't know for uh, if you would watch me or if you, Vanessa, if you remember of the heroes, the first game. And it was like amazing to see the characters in that style and the comic style and uh, the questions come up. But after you play a while, I was like, it's, it's missing like a storytelling here, you know? Mm. So I have the questions here, I can answer, but after six seconds, if I'm not good enough, I cannot play. I, I, I'm not engaged with that enough. So um, he showed me about a little bit about the Heroes 2, his vision. That was like about six years ago. Um, and I think I was like, you know, I think we can create like a path here, a map. So instead of like just random questions that you choose your heroes, why not we start with from the beginning, like with Adam and Eve, and then we finish with the last hero. So we can like give the directions to each player, how they can not just like do random questions, but they have to unlock the story. And that way they can go from Genesis all the way to the end of the Bible. And that's how it is in the Heroes 2. So I'm very, very happy that the idea moved forward. It became even better with the other, uh, uh, the, the team members when they, they shaped the idea. And um, I'm just like very happy to be part of this project. So you incorporated this storytelling uh, movement that goes from the beginning of the book, from Genesis all the way to Revelation. I like that. But of course, not all the heroes of the Bible are already in the game. 
what's going to happen when we incorporate, when it comes to Heroes 3 and we incorporate some new heroes? What's going to happen then? Well, so we, we have like amazing vision for heroes, you know. Uh, the idea is great, it's big, it's bold, and the team is working to give the best. Um, so I'm really happy what we have right now. There are 12 heroes, so you can go to the website, you see that you have Adam and Eve, we have Noah, and you go to Moses and Joseph, and you continue, uh, go and move forward all the way to John, uh, the son of Thunder. But we don't want to stay only with 12 heroes. We want to improve and create more heroes. But it takes a lot of time. I, I'm going to tell you, like it takes a lot of time to design, to develop them in 3D, to do the, the animations inside of the game. Like I didn't have much idea like how much work it takes for each character in the game to be ready. But we want to bring, uh, even this year yet, in 2021, we want to create the two new heroes, incorporate new questions. We want to bring them inside of the game. You want to explore new heroes, bring new characters in a way that you could learn literally through, from the beginning of the Bible to the end with the heroes and with the journey. So they will be they will be built into that story. They will fit in the right place uh, as the heroes. Yes. I wonder also. We now get to read the background story of each hero. Is this also connected with the idea of telling a full story? Yes, exactly. Because we assume sometimes that everyone knows the stories of the the heroes of the characters of the Bible, and perhaps I have heard about them. Perhaps I know that Adam and Eve was the first couple and they were living in the Garden of Eden, but we don't know like what exactly happened there, you know? So we want to encourage people to not just play for fun, but to learn, to get to get motivated, to go back to the Bible, because inside of the game, you have a resume, just a short storytelling of that. But we want to go like, okay, I want to know more about this hero. I want to know more about this story and the stories around them. So even if you finish the game right now, once we release, you finish all of the 12 heroes, and then we release a new hero, you can go back and you can play again, and then you have to unlock new heroes, gonna have more questions. So the game can always continue to improve, and, and uh, it's, it's always something new that we can develop inside. It will continue to grow. And also having the opportunity to read the background story helps you to play better because then you know oh, and you get better scores. Um, so, Jeff, this is how you got uh, into the project. What are you doing now at the moment? What's your role? Yeah, so um, after uh, that period, because I said that conversation happens like about six years ago, and then uh, when the project returned and we started to work on it, I was invited by Sam to work as the social media and the marketing director for the project. So I was doing this plan and this and that, but then uh, at that point, uh, Arnaldo, he was the project manager and I was only take care of this part. But then the project started to escalate and get bigger. And then we say, Jeff, would you like to be the project manager? And uh, I, I have to be honest, I hesitate a little bit because I was like, wow, yes, I want that. But it was like, am I be capable to do this job? You know, it's like such a, a challenge. But I was like, you know, I'm going to regret if I say no and say yes. And then I start to, to uh, work with Arnaldo in the beginning to learn the process, to get to know the team and all the other areas that I was not involved in the beginning, that is beyond market, beyond social media. And uh, right now I'm the project manager for Heroes. So we have like a three big areas in the game. We have the development, we have art, creative design, we have the markets people. We have more than 20 people work on this project from eight different countries. And uh, I needed to be connected with all of them for each of them be doing the work and doing the best to create the ultimate best trivia game ever. People from all over the world, including me here, there's a team in Venezuela, there's a team in the Philippines, Ukraine. Yeah. I can't quite remember the rest, but there's people all over. We have over. in America, we have yes. in Brazil, me and in Portugal. Uh, we yes. have someone from Pakistan that is working our oh, team wow. as well. 
So yes, it's just fantastic. All across. Yes, absolutely. So Jeff, what would you say is the best part of the job and what is the most challenging part of the job? Oh, that's a, a good question. <laughs> so, you know, I really enjoy just being part of a, like a, an amazing project that is not only about the game itself, but is a, in a way that we can engage and motivate people to then to get to know about the hero heroes, you know, the stories of the Bible, that even if you're not a Christian, you still can learn with those stories. There are so many uh, amazing stories that we can learn with those guys. And uh, I think that's my favorite part is to help this process and to build bridges that will take like not only the young generation that we know is our uh, prime goal, but like all generations can play this game and they can be together, enjoying, challenge and learning more about the heroes of the Bible. But the challenge part, I think, is uh, I would say that we, we have like such a, a large team and it's, it's, developing game is not easy as is, it sounds. It's not as fun as it sounds because you have to keep testing and testing the same thing. And it's like a continual process to always get better. And uh, that is, it, it looks like sometimes 24 hours of the day is not enough. I think the challenge is to, to do our best in a really short time with a small team. Because if you compare with big companies, big games out there, they have a lot of money to create games. And that's not our case. And we're not going to make money because the game is free. So our purpose is a, is a different one, is a bigger one. But that is the challenge to find like the best people to work together with us in these situations. Good answer. Good answer. And I want to know what's coming next. What is the dream? What's happening with Heroes 3? What's the picture and the vision for the future? Well, so before Heroes 3, we really want to take Heroes 2 even for an, like a, a better level, a higher level, you know? So we are red working with the designs to create because today we have the single player and we have the much much player but we are working to create uh events inside of this app so we are designed the screens and created the logistics and the game design how will it work for the player etc because we want to release very very soon in a way that uh, people can play as a team so i can ask you to join me we're going to be a team of like a two three or four people and we can like face another people competition but like in a oh, fun like way that. we don't want you like uh, that you know as like yeah. e-games which is like a big thing out there so we can have people competing in national yeah yes oh, like we can have like a <laughs> church play together church play against another church we can have national competitions and why not we can have a global heroes competition oh, you can be yeah. it doesn't matter where in the world you are you can come and play with your friends and like it, they, the idea is, is amazing. So that will be available very, very soon. Wait, question. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in theory, I could compete with someone who speaks another language, even answering the same questions. He or she would have it in his language and I have it in mine. Is that correct? Yes. Um, the only thing is right now we have four languages available. So I yes, know that yes. you are from Argentina. Yeah, uh, and I'm from Brazil, so I could be playing in Portuguese. And I was I send you the challenge, and if your phone is set as Spanish, you're gonna play the same challenge in Spanish. In Spanish. If it's set in English, you're gonna play in English, and if it's in French, you're gonna play in French. And we have these four languages ready right now as the launch of the game. But we are working with amazing volunteers that uh, are part to grow even more. Mm. We are working right now in six languages, but the goal is to have the game translate to third languages. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so that's what's coming up. That's what's coming up for Heroes. I have one last question for you then. Sure. As we wrap up, what would be the one message that you want to leave with people uh, about here, what's, what's in your heart about this game? You know, I know it's a job, but it's also a passion. So what would be the one sentence that summarizes how you feel and what you believe about this game? You know, we have seen uh, the cinema, the games, everyone talk about the heroes. 
is like movies and series and etc but i i think the first thing is to remember who are the true heroes it's not the, the one that has the superpowers but it's the common people that by the spirit of god allow and uh, is transforming and change us and we can be heroes as well we can do amazing things through god but i want to see a generation because people are very proud to say i'm team dc i'm team marvel and wear the shirts and everything else to be talking about the games about the movies i want to see people talking about this game i want to see people talking about the heroes from the bible and these stories how it transform their lives and to be part of a hero's generation. I think that's something that really motivates me and uh, I would love to see this come up through with everyone joined together as a big generation. I love that, Jeff. A generation of heroes, of people who understand that you don't need to be perfect, you don't need to have superpowers to be a hero. What you need to do is hear the call of God and answer, because he is the one with the power to make you a superhero. Thank you so much, Jeff. It has been an honor and a pleasure to talk to you today. A pleasure was mine and a very Thankful, Vanessa, for you, for all the work you do for us as well, part of the team and the amazing team of heroes that is behind the scenes as well, making this game be possible, making these videos to be possible. So thank you very much, each of you. And thank you to you that is going to download the game. You can be an ambassador of the game and can help us to promote not the game, but the message that the game has. Thank you.